Hello all signs and thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind my readings are general, may or may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more insight and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Alright you guys, if you would like to book a personal with me, everything that you need will be down in the comment box below. I don't know if I should use these cards today. Spirit is almost advising me not to. So maybe you don't need the message from your person, guys. Today, we're just going to be getting a love oracle and a couple of cards for what may be happening today or tomorrow, okay? So, Spirit, first up, let's get some energy from Aries. Aries being first, let's get some energy for Aries love life. Okay, past life relationship came up. I do not take reversals with these. Um... You guys have known each other before, but it, I'm, I am going to consider the fact that it came out in reverse a little bit. So maybe this is someone brand new, but the connection is feels like you guys have known each other for quite some time. Okay, let's just see what we have for you. Ten of Cups, the Hermit, the Page of Swords, the Death card. Damn. Um, you guys, this may have been somebody that you already knew, okay? I feel like you either... A, we're in a relationship with this person, or B, you're you're in a relationship with this person right now. But however way it goes, with this Hermit card and this Page of Swords, I feel like you either went quiet on this person or you're going to go quiet on this person because you feel like this person is a liar. The only issue that you have is once you go quiet from this person, it's over. Why is it over? Because this person was lying to you and they had another connection, one that they're trying to, you know, work on. I feel like you are going to be a bit stressed out about this. This person did break your heart. But I feel like you leaving this person was the best thing for you with this justice card here because there was too much conflict. And it would have just been a big-ass burden for you, okay? Because this person was going to continue to juggle you. All right? Your card for today is you need a good fucking cry. It says get your ugly cry on. Let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. All right? Thank you, Aries. Taurus. Let's see what I have for Tauruses today. Spirit, please give me some energy for Taurus. What is the energy for Taurus, Spirit? What is the energy for Taurus? Taurus, you have new love. <laughs> is my shit in reverse? No, it's, well, to an extent. Um, I'm going to leave it like that. I actually like it when these come out in reverse. So you have new love in reverse. So maybe um, you're looking for new love. You're ready for new love. Maybe new love just hasn't come in yet. For some of you, you do have new love. But let's see what's going on. All right. Spirit, what's coming up for Taurus? What is the energy for Taurus, Spirit? What is the energy for Taurus? Energy for Taurus. Two of Cups, yeah. You guys are either about to meet someone who you're going to have a very strong bond with or you did. I feel like you're trying to make this work, okay? You're stressed, though, Four of Cups, because you feel like this person is rejecting you. I don't necessarily feel like this person is rejecting you. They want to take their time. I feel like you guys aren't speaking right now. This person may have their guard up towards you. They want to make an offer to you or you want to make an offer to this person. I feel like you see this person as somebody that you could marry or be with for a long time. But somebody here is acting a bit too single or detached from the situation. Ace of Swords, there's a need for some type of communication here. With the Knight of Cups, I feel like somebody wants to come through with their emotions, but they're holding back. Could be you, could be this person. A lot of egos clashing here. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This person is acting cold and detached, but the reason why they're doing that is because they're sad. Maybe they feel left out in the cold. Maybe they left you out in the cold all right i feel like this person does want attention from you but they want something that um i heard that you're not giving them so perhaps what's making what would make them happy is for you to come back and do something or be more committed maybe with this tower card here i feel like it this person may come back around or you may come back around i feel like this is something that's supposed to happen you are supposed to be with this person look at this ace of wands are not power fine this is your person whoever it is that you are may have just had a new beginning with or someone who's brand new there's somebody here who you're in separation with but um i feel like this may be the one okay let's see it says get the fuck outside and move your ass your body is pissed at you so if you're having body aches and shit like that it's because you're not being mobile enough okay Taurus. all right so gemini let's see what energies we have for my gemini's what is the energy for gemini spirit 
or shit. Pay attention to the red flags, okay? It says the signs are cautioning you. Oh, don't we always have to pay attention to the red flags here? Spirit, please tell me, what is going on with Gemini? What is it that Gemini needs to pay attention to? Or what is going on in Gemini's life right now? Gemini, we have the devil. Ooh, Ooh Jesus, come and take the will. Because the devil's in here. All right. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. Gemini, there's something that you need to let go. I feel like you keep going back and forth in your head about it. You want to know whether or not you should stay or go. I feel like you're already guarded towards this. I feel like you're already on your way to fuck out. I feel like you're already not speaking to someone. I feel like the issue here is with the Ten of Cups, you wanted something very serious with someone from the past, but you guys are having way too much conflict, okay? This person or you is bringing in the drama, okay? I feel like someone is choosing to remain single and hold back from you because either they feel like you're manipulating and you're playing mind games or this person feels like you always have to be the one to have the upper hand with the page of cups here this person definitely loves you or they have love for you this is someone who does want to come back but i feel like this person doesn't know how to balance things out with you i do see the energy of this person being a little bit of a liar or maybe you but with the ace of pentacles here this person definitely still wants something stable with you but they don't know how to get it they may come off a bit manipulating but i do feel like you'll choose to move forward from this person could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus here. This is the energy of somebody who's choosing to move forward into something new. They feel like they have to walk away from you because this shit is a burden. It's like I can't, they can't win with you. That's how I, I'm, yeah, five, five of wands. There's too much conflict. This is someone who doesn't like to fight. This is somebody who is choosing to move on. Maybe they have something else waiting for them or something else that they want to go towards, all right? Let's see. We have that project, that person, that idea. Get after that shit. The world has your back. Okay, so cancers, let's get some energy from my cancers, one second. Okay, spirit, please tell me what is going on with cancer? What is the energy with cancer? What is the energy for cancer? Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay, so. You guys may not be speaking to your person or your person may not be speaking to you. I feel like if you guys are speaking right now, something is about to pop off. Now, Spirit, tell me what's going on with cancer. The high priestess could be a Pisces. Someone is being very quiet. I feel like they do want to offer you love, but there's something stopping this person. What's stopping this connection? Secrets. This person doesn't know what to do with you anymore. I feel like they need time to reflect. They're trying to decide whether or not they want to stay or go. They are extremely guarded towards you as well. With this two of sword here, this person is at the peak of ending things, okay? They're trying to make a decision. They feel like this is toxic, and they feel like what they want with you is unobtainable. This person may be looking at you like you're selfish. They also may be feeling like you're not... Um, you you owe them some type of apology, but with the Ace of Cups, this person does still love you. And in the back burner, in the subconscious, they will love to reunite with you, but they are setting up boundaries. This person may be a bit deceitful too, or they may view you as being deceitful. Spirit is advising you to stop talking, shut your mouth and listen. So you need to listen to this person more, okay? All right, so Libra, let's see. I mean, Leo, what do we have for Leo? What is the energy for Leo, Spirit? What is the energy for Leo? Very soon. It says, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. All right, Leo. What is the energy for Leo? Energy for Leos today, Spirit. What is the energy for Leos? Energy for Leos. Oh, well. We have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so Aries, Leo, with Sagittarius energy. This could be you. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands. The death card and the three of swords. So you may be leaving somebody or somebody may be leaving you. There is some deception going on here. I feel like with this emperor, somebody is standing their ground about a situation. They want you. Don't get it fucked up. Could be a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. There's a lot of love here. And I feel like somebody feels like there's an apology needed in order for you guys to have this new passionate start. Because this person definitely missed the sex between you two. But they view you as being very flighty and they want that shit to end. They're tired of being hurt by you, okay? Even though they do feel this connection towards you or you may feel this connection towards this person that somebody's turning their back because they feel like shit is just unclear okay spirit is saying you do you stop trying to change people that shit never works all right thank you guys 
So, Virgo. What do we have for Virgos? What do we have for Virgo spirit? What is the energy for Virgos? What is the energy for Virgos? And we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other, okay? All right, Virgos, let's see what the energy is for you. Ooh, 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 the death card holding back. Seems like you're ready to give up on something. Tell me what the energy is for Virgo. Ten of Cups, Six of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. You're trying, I mean, your Eight of Pentacles. You're trying to work on something. I see this is something that you've been trying to deal with for a while. I feel like you do feel like somebody here is a bit of a liar, How and you may not be speaking on it. This is you trying to keep the peace, all right? But with the Sun card, could be a Leo. I feel like you're about to say something, all right? You can't hold back but so much more, and I feel like this is going to create a tower moment. You may wind up cutting this person off, or this person may wind up cutting you off. Ten of Pentacles here. You guys could be living together. This could be somebody that you've been with for a while. Could be an Aries. But there's a situation here where this person still wants it, but they want to be able to either do what they want to do or not give a fuck about your feelings. Either way, there's Spirit is calling for you to give yourself some justice here, okay? Spirit is saying, <coughs> whatever you're thinking about doing, don't do it. Hmm. All right. I'm going to just go ahead and finish this cigarette because clearly... All right, now. Libra. What energy do we have for Libra? Spirit, what is the energy for Libra? Energy for Libra, Spirit. What is the energy for Libra? Energy for Libra. We have pay attention to the red flags. Jim and I got the same card. The signs are cautioning you. All right, Spirit, what's going on with um, Libra? What is the energy for Libra? Spirit, what is the energy for Libra? What is the energy for Libra? All right, Libra, your first card is the Three of Swords. Someone is heartbroken. Could be you, could be them. It could be in regards to a third party. Somebody is not opening up emotionally. It could be you. You could be closing down on somebody trying to move on. I feel like this is somebody who you were trying to be happy with. It could have been a Leo. I feel like this is somebody who really wanted to work on things with you. But I feel like after whatever happened between you two, it may have shaken you up and made you go within. All right? This is somebody who you're not really wanting to open up to anymore. I feel like you think this person is a liar. This person feels like you're a liar and that's why they're not speaking to you. All right? If this person is speaking to you, I feel like what they're saying may be a lie. With the lovers here, is a very strong connection, but I feel like there's way too many secrets here. Somebody needs to start telling on themselves, okay? Or being honest. Or maybe you need to start approaching this person about what's going on because there is a sweetness here between you two. There's a lot of love between you two and a possibility for growth and children. This person may be someone you already have kids with or want to, but with the eight of pinnacle, it needs fucking work. I feel like you're running out of hope. I feel like you are almost feeling like you should reject this situation. With the five of wands, you guys are fighting a lot. And there's a lot of confusion going on here. Spirit is saying, have you eaten today? You're acting like a big ass baby. You need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. All right. Scorpio. Let's see what I have for Scorpios. Spirit, what is the energy for Scorpios today? Energy for Scorpios. What is the energy for Scorpios? New love. Okay. So it says a new person has stereo romantic feelings. I believe Taurus got the same card. So let's see what's going on. Spirit, please tell me what's going on between uh, Scorpio and whoever they're dealing with. Could be a new love. Could be an old love. Resparking. Who knows? Let's see. Ace of Wands. Looks like new love to me. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, it could be somebody you've been waiting on or this was a love you were waiting for. Knight of Cups. This person is going to be very expressive with you, but I feel like you're a bit detached. Okay? I feel like you don't want to open up emotionally. I feel like you're still healing from something, but you're working on that. It's like I'm working on getting back to myself. Okay? You may be feeling like a badass bitch right now. But with this Magician card, you're coming off manipulating to this person and I feel like they're going to try to match your energy. All right? With this love this card could be a Gemini. There's a very strong connection between you two, but nobody's willing to speak up on it. But y'all motherfuckers feel it, okay? It says you're being shady. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. All right, Scorpio. Thank you. So, Sagittarius. 
Let's see what we have for you guys today. Spirit, please give me some energy for Sagittarius. What is the energy for Sagittarius? Energy for Sagittarius. This could be the one. Ooh, okay. All right. Okay. Spirit, tell me more. Tell me more. What's going on with Sagittarius? What is the energy for Sag? Energy for Sag? Energy for Sag. Sagittarius could be a Libra that you're dealing with. There is a sense of, oh, it got dark as fuck. Um, there is a sense of you waiting to receive some of what you deserve, okay? Um, I feel like maybe in your past relationship, someone that you may have let go of, you may have not gotten the full potential that you deserved. With this Ace of Wands, I feel like this new person or someone else is willing to give that to you, okay? Yeah, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person may not be as lovey-dovey as you need them to be. I do see them holding back emotionally a little bit. But with the star card, this person is willing to work on this. This person may also have been going through something external too. You know, people, um, what did they say that? How, did, how does that shit go? Um, you attract what you are. So you're going through something. I feel like this person may be going through something as well. Yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles here, it seems to me like this person is working on getting back to themselves. But that's... Mm, that could be an issue it could be a uh, leo this person may be holding back from you you may decide to end this with this person because you feel like this person is not opening up to you spirit is saying laugh where the fuck is your sense of humor all right thank you capricorn let's see what ener let's see what energy we have for capricorn what is the energy for capricorns what is the energy for capricorns today energy for capricorn energy for capricorn capricorn we have love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attracted i feel like that's going to um be questioned or it's going to be tested very soon all right spirit is saying clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now so spirit please tell me what is going on what is going on with capricorn what is the energy for capricorns today energy for capricorn capricorn we have the seven of pentacles the justice and the tower um Someone is waiting for you to open up. But I feel like if you don't open up soon, this person may leave. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This is an individual here who is really trying to hold on to you out of an ego standpoint they feel like you look good with them or you would do good with them or you look good you know whatever but this person is kind of you know holding themselves back from giving you more because they feel like you're not opening up either with this eight of swords this is stressing this person to fuck out though because they're ready they're really really ready i heard ready like never before or some meek mill shit could be a taurus um this person may, you may feel like this person is lying or this person feels like you're lying. They may feel like you're dealing with other people or you may feel like this person is dealing with other people. Take it how it resonates. With the world card, they're fixated on you though. This person really wants you, but I feel like you may be standing your ground because you are feeling like this person is a liar. That's making this person feel like you're leaving them out in the cold or that you're hiding something. Mm. Spirit is saying, don't talk to anyone and don't look at anyone. You need some time alone and you know why. It's because you guys need to heal. All right. Thank you, Capricorn. All right. So, Pisces. Oh, no. Aquarius. Let's see. What do we have for Aquarius? What is the energy for Aquarius? What is the energy for Aquarius? Energy for Aquarius. One card for Aquarius, please. Pick. Okay. Release your ex, okay? The time has come to clear your energy, all right? I feel like you will be attracting more people, but if you're still stuck on a person who is not stuck on you anymore, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. It's going to lose every time. You're never going to have what you want. So there's a need for you to move towards something better. Three of Pentacles, Three of Swords showed its face. Could be a third-party relationship. Um, be very careful with that, even if you're not aware. That's what probably is going on here. You're needing to leave that person alone. All right, so we have Queen of Wands. Yes, somebody is finding you to be very attractive here. All right, this person who um, you may not be giving your time and energy to wants to have a word with you. You may have turned your back on this person in the past. It could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. They want to come back around. With the Lovers card, it could be a Gemini. There's a very strong connection, but I feel like you two are being extremely petty. With this page of um, Wands here, somebody would like to spark up some type of in interest in you, or they may be trying to get you to have some type of interest in them again. But with the Emperor here, this person is a bit too bossy. I also feel like you may be established 
establishing some type of boundaries where you're not going to just allow this person to wiggle their way back in. With this world card here, I do feel like it's going to be very hard for you to take this person back or for you to let this person be in. With the hermit card here, I do feel like you're still going through some type of time alone. You don't really want to be fucking bothered with anybody because you need strength for your damn self. You may be feeling weak or you feel like um you've been taken advantage of. With this two of pentacles, you feel like somebody juggled you in a third party relationship. I feel like you're trying to free yourself from that mind frame or even this third party still with this tower card here if you don't leave they're gonna leave you okay spirit is saying you got a feeling that you just can't shake that little voice inside of you listen to listen to that shit i told you you guys could be fully aware that there's somebody you know doing some type of third party shit but you may be trying to ignore it you're only kill, killing and hurting yourself here all right so now moving forward spirit please give me a card for pisces what is the card for pisces today what is the energy for pisces Healing family issues came out in reverse with very soon. So there is something that you're going to be forced to do in regards to making a decision about family, um, loved ones. It could be your family. You could be trying to start a family. Whatever the situation is, you're going to have to heal that situation in the near future. I feel like in, right now you're trying not to deal with that shit. Spirit, tell me what's going on with Pisces. What is the energy for Pisces? We have the four of cups. You feel rejected. Um, I feel like whoever it was that made you feel rejected is going to want to come back around. This is toxic, though. The devil card is here. Somebody has an unhealthy addiction to you, and I feel like it may be sexually based. I feel like this is somebody who breaks your heart. I feel like this is somebody who may be very uh, short with you, in and out your life. Page of Wands. They come in maybe for sex. This person may also... Ooh, the Page of Wands with the Empress. This person may be trying to get you pregnant. Two of Cups. They feel a connection with you, but there may be somebody else involved with this Three of Cups. The Five of Swords. This person's a liar or they're lying to you because they want you. It's like they're trying to win at all costs with you. But I feel like you're trying to distance yourself and move further because you want something that's all yours. Something that makes you happy. You want this Ten of Cups, which is happy life, happy wife type of situation. Nine of Wands. This person is guarded towards that because again they have something else that they're working on or working with with the star card i feel like you're healing from this getting back to being yourself or being a badass bitch but with this ace of cups here i feel like there's still a lot of love for this person but you want a relationship or a real one so you're trying to guard yourself and in this connection with this person and completely turn your back because you don't want to be the side bitch hence the queen of wands Spirit is advising your ass to get some sleep, okay? It says you're being an ass because you're tired. Face the pillow, meow. All right? Thank you, guys. Bye.